Okay, so we are building up from the Gates Dell com uh, Computer Science Complex. And this is the O'Donnell uh, Building for Applied Engineering and Computational Science. And the reason this is an important piece of the puzzle is that we need to understand that applied materials and, uh, and, and applied engineering is increasingly going to be applied to living systems and uh, human bodies and other living beings, uh, everything from yeast and microbes to um, <laughs> beings as big as people, but this will be under precision medicine. And so the, the uh, engineering that is happening is happening at a nano and a pico level with increasingly two-dimensional materials, one of which is graphene, which I've spoken about pretty extensively, and they have whole seminars in graphene at the, in this building, uh, but then other two-dimensional materials that are coming online, and then these materials are then um, combined in, as tubes and balls and other mechanisms to create nano machines. So nanomachines that will um, exist within living systems and perform functions and then ultimately um, begin to control neural function and control other aspects of, of life, um, even to a point of where with yeast, they would remake those living systems into new products to create new markets um, for profit. And, you know, ostensibly it's about... Um, you know, improving the world, but really it is, I think, a counterfeit and a corruption of the world. And many of the, the beings that are being managed through this applied engineering um, don't really have the ability to give consent to the engineering that's going on. And, and I think some of the engineering through nanoparticulates is happening at an environmental level, as an environmental toxin level that we become immersed in these nanomaterials. Um, and the engineering is happening in less than clinical settings, that it, this is happening um, to our whole societies, that we are learning to navigate the metaverse and this internet of bio nano things um, as engineered organisms. And then ultimately, then the question becomes, have we given away our agency to become material to be engineered by other beings, including Dells and Gates and all of these other folks that are funding the biotech industries. So that's sort of my short piece. Again, they're doing graphene research in here. They're doing nanoelectronics research in here. The applied materials we need to realize are going to be applied to us. And so I've got my little bit of dandelions here. I'm just gonna do a little cleansing and then be right back. And I have to say, one of the things I'm really loving about Austin and this campus is these oak trees and these beautiful little acorns. So I'm gonna um, take one of these along with me for future use, but um, I think they're exquisite. And then what does applied engineering mean when we have a world that is this beautiful? I think some of these things we need, as Robin Wilkimer says, we're the younger beings, we're the younger siblings in this equation, we should have some humility and learn from the older beings, including the oak trees and the acorns.